So here we are. Um, we're going to do this charm right here. This was um, original art that I made um, the other day. I just minimized it so that it's just her face and then I printed out nine in a sheet of shrink plastic film right here. Uh, make sure that you get the inkjet shrink film um, if you're going to use your inkjet printer. Um, also, I made some charms um, to make a body for her, but we'll talk about that later. So, <clears throat> you have to figure out which side is the stickier side. So, if you wet your finger a little bit and then you you press on either side with your forefinger and your thumb and figure out which which um, side is the stickier side and that's the side that you have to sand um, and you use 320 grit sandpaper that's what I use so you have to sand it in a crisscross pattern so what I do is I just go over it um, uh, one way and then turn it over and do the but you kind of really have to sand it very very hard so that when it comes out of your printer it is going to be sort of rough and because when you shrink it it'll be smooth I don't know why don't ask me but that's how it is <clears throat> so when I when I printed it out, I cut, there was nine in a sheet. So I cut them, I signed it, and then I punched the hole with my hole punch. Just this little one right here, because that's going to shrink 50%. Um, probably even more. And that's going to be, the hole is going to be this small. So, so there. And we are now ready to shrink it. I own. I use the um, heat tool, heat gun, because it's just easier. You can put it and bake it in the oven, but that for me takes too long. And so I also have a wooden skewer just to hold it so it's not flying all over the place. I'm gonna put this aside. So it doesn't get ruined. And what it ends up to be is this size. So here we go. And I point the heat gun under it because then it curls up. So it just stays as flat as possible. Straighten. 
so apparently my camera didn't feel like it wanted to film the whole thing and it just stopped after the charm was done so I am going to continue from here um, but you see that th there's sheen on there already um, what it is is this Lisa Pavelka magic gloss and it's a dimensional gloss but it acts like a resin because it is uh, the clear plastic and it's really thick so I just put that on top and you'll see bubbles so again I took my my heat tool and just passed it on top of it so that it would burst the bubbles and then it just ends up to be clear and you just let it sit. I usually put it under um, UV light so it dries really quickly. But um, it probably dries about an hour. But you can leave it out also and let it dry that way. That's also good. Um, Okay, so for this one, I just attached a, a little charm holder um, so you can hang it anywhere you want. Then I put um, made holes for the legs and the hands on either side of this foam. It's a craft foam. I just cut it. And I, on the sticky side, I stuck a little piece of fabric. And then I did the, um, whatever that's called. Um, so that I could hang it with that thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called either. <clears throat> I just know how to use it. I don't know the names of it. So I put the, the word charm with black and white pen bead. <clears throat> a bead um, and these art girls charms um, it comes in a package hands and um, the little boots that you see there if you notice this is a little brighter than this one that we just made that is because when I first printed it out on the shrink plastic I did not adjust the brightness and the color of it um, not so much the color but just the bright brightness um, so what you can do is a, adjust the brightness to the maximum but not so much that it loses the details of the face um, there see and so that's what I did um um, some of the charms I put the holes on this side so you can choose whatever um, you're going to hang it with um, if you want to make make a keychain you know actually you can also print out photos and do the same method and give it give it away to your friends and family and that's it. So love one another and have a great week. Thank you. Bye-bye.